Hey everyone, it's Audrey. Welcome to the very last day of Summer Scrapping 2019. Today my guest is Beth Solar, and she always has great pages. Go check out her YouTube channel. So for this last video of the series, I am doing something that I have not done out of the 221 process videos I have done. This is my very first double page layout. I hardly ever do two page spreads. So I'm going to do one today. Um, I have a ton of pictures from our trip to the state fair last year and I had considered doing a mini album, but I, um, I, I don't know. I, I would much rather have layouts because I think I look more at my layouts than I do mini albums. So I am going to attempt a double page spread. I cannot tell you the last time I did a double page layout and it definitely shows because <laughs> I had a really, really hard time. And there's lots of reasons why I think uh, double pages are more challenging for me than single page spreads. First of all, the orientation of the well, the format um, of the, the page itself is completely different. Here you're working with a very long rectangle um, in terms of design. And when you're working with a single page layout, you're working with a square. So I feel like, you know, the elements are arranged completely differently and um, it can be really challenging. So I am just going to kind of wing it here. And what you, again, I, I can't tell you the last time I've done a double page spread, but um, what you see me doing here is, is not going to stay. I played around with this design and I actually don't even show you this whole process because it ended up being a disaster. I tried to do all this mixed media on this background that I'm doing here. Uh, I'm not going to show it to you because it took a long time and I just hated it. So um, I know some people like to see that, that process, but it was just way too long. And I, I will go back and use those pa these papers at some point, but <clears throat> I kind of like what I was doing with the uh, background papers here, the angle, and I like the black and white, and I was going to do some mixed media over them. And then I fussy cut out these arrows to bring in some movement and some color. Um, but again, it just is not going to stay um, this way. But I'll show you a little bit of the process. I won't show you the mixed media um, part here. So I'm just fussy cutting out these arrows, which um, are pretty fun. They're good colors. By the way, this collection I'm using is the uh, Crate Paper Maggie Holmes Carousel Collection. I think I've used this collection pretty much every year when I've done a page about, um, you know, the fair or rides or something because it has all kinds of fair embellishments and, you know, tents and Ferris wheels and tickets and all kinds of stuff like that. So I think um, another reason why I think this design wasn't working is if you saw my photos, you saw, I think I probably have 10 or 12 photos on this double page spread and they're pretty, they're kind of small. I think my biggest one is about, it's a little bigger than two and a half by three and a half. Um, they're all different shapes and sizes because I thought that they, that would add to the interest of the page. So I purposely made them um, bigger or smaller or square and fatter rectangles and skinny rectangles because I just think that that, um, you know, is nicer for design. So I'm struggling with this. I uh, This piece of paper, I decided to cut out the little flags from it. So this is where I go back and I start over. So this is a piece of like the specialty paper that came with this collection. And it's a, it's a t piece of tear apart tags. And I thought, you know what, instead of just using those individual tags, I'm going to use the whole sheet. And my camera battery died and I did not know it was not recording anymore. So the mixed media part got skipped. But I added some gesso to the... Um, to the uh, ticket page and then I went over that with some the packaging technique with a mint colored and then these triangles I cut out from that triangle paper that you saw just a few seconds ago and then I backed each of my photos with some pattern paper to kind of mat them and instead of lining up my photos along the bottom and top edge of the page I decided to line them up down a middle uh, a middle line so that the um, bottom of the top photos and the top of the bottom row of photos are kind of in a straight line. And I really like how that looks. So all these other little embellishments here are all coming from the die cut packs and the 
chipboard sheets and the sticker sheets that all go with this um, carousel collection. When I first saw this collection, I saw these like black and white tents. I'm like, I'm never going to use these on a page, but here they are. And I decided to stick with mostly black and white embellishments because I felt that the black and white, well, I've got a lot of color going on, especially all the color in my photos, um, the little pennants, flags, there's a lot of color there, and those tickets too have a lot of color too. So the black and white, I think it's also easier to see against all the colors. Um, okay, so I'm just, I'm, I'm really just throwing some things on. I feel like it would, I like this page when it's all said and done. I wish um, the stuff on the right, the embellishments I put on the right of the page, like over the ticket area, they kind of get lost a little bit in that ticket because of the background so busy there. I kind of wish I went through and maybe added a little bit more uh, gesso back there to kind of soften it up a little bit more or even, um, you know, some inks or something to kind of make it more solid. Um, Again, just so that those things stood out. I really like the left side of the page. Actually, if you look at just the left half of the page, um, the left square, that could be like a standalone page. That actually works uh, by itself. So, all right, now comes the tedious process of gluing down all these photos. So I'm going to glue these down and then I'll just go back and start adding in all my embellishments. <clears throat> I, I literally spent, I know this video is not that, I mean, it's, probably average length as far as my videos go, but this this is like the second or third um, attempt at a design <laughs> for this page. So in retrospect, maybe a mini album would have been simpler. Um, so I glued all the photos down, I popped them all off the page, and now I'm just gonna go back and add the uh, embellishments in. Some of these are chipboard, like this cotton candy thing is chipboard and I have to it, it raises up the photo if you stick the whole thing underneath the photo, so I gotta kind of cut out around, um, cut out the corner of the chipboard so it doesn't uh, give too much height to the photo in the background. I'll pop some of these other things off. So yeah, I after this, I don't see myself doing another two-pager <laughs> anytime soon. It's definitely, it's totally different designing, I think, and um, I mean, not in a bad way, but <clears throat> I guess it's just more challenging for me, and I typically like to use one photo, um, not just one, one or a couple small ones, because I do like to do a lot of mixed media and other artsy things on my page, while at the same time trying to still make the photo stand out. So, you know, it's a balance of um, embellishments and fun scrapbooking uh, bits and, you know, making sure that your photos and your stories are documented and prominent too. So I feel like this page, there still is a good focus on the photos, even though there's a lot of them. Um, but I do have a lot of colors and a lot of other things going on, but so I think it's okay. It, it all worked out in the end. Okay. I'm going to glue on these flags and then I'm going to go through and it's not a very, uh, smooth curve. It's kind of straight in some places where it maybe sh should be a little bit more rounded, but it's fine. And I'm going to go through and I'll stitch over those in some black thread here in a little bit. So the New York State Fair, as, as I'm recording this video, um, we'll be going again next week for the, um, the fair this year. Um, we love going to the fair. We spent the entire day there. I mean, literally like 13 hours we spent there last year. There is so much to do. We could spend a couple days there, uh, I'm sure, going through other things. Uh, the kids love the rides, of course, and the games, which are expensive. But we also love all the farm animals and um, the rooster crowing contest. We got to walk some llamas and we go to the Native American village, which they love as well and just all kinds of good things. So super fun. All right, last little pieces here I'm adding are some of these um, tickets, like as little journaling spots, I'll add them over here. I already glued that black star on, I was gonna move it over a little bit, but where I'm putting my journaling tags. I also felt like I needed some more yellow over on the right because there's a couple yellow uh, pendants in my banner there and there's a few other yellow elements. So. I add a couple more yellow tags um, over to the right. And I actually think in my final page, I added another one off camera as well. 
a few fray stickers here and there. Again, these are all part of the same collection, so it makes it very easy. And then I'm just going to put these stickers at the top. It says the fair. I like these stickers. They're not they're very simple letter. They're not super big. They go on easy. They're transparent. Voila. I think that pretty much does it. I do go back and add my journaling and the date. And there is the finished page. You can see I added some more yellow bits over to the right. And I actually added another tag for my journaling too. So here's each side individually. So look at that. looks like it's its own page. This one, not so much. <laughs> the left-hand side definitely does. I always like to do things on double page spreads that kind of go across both pages. Like I did that little strip on the bottom to make it look like that the pages are connected, that they're whole. I don't like doing two page spreads that look like two separate pages. I want it to look like one complete thing. So here's a whole bunch of close-ups. You can see all the fun details there. So that is it for my Summer Scrappin' Series 2019. What a, a, a fun summer it has been. Thank you to all of my guests, um, designers. Thank you to everybody who left um, comments and questions and, I, and thumbs up. And I really appreciate it. I appreciate your time. Um, you know, I do these videos because I like to share with people and I, I hope that you get inspired. Um, and it's just, I enjoy it. So, and I enjoy connecting with other scrapbookers. So thank you so much. I will have a couple more pages in the next couple weeks. And I am planning on doing a week in October for a fall series, a seven day fall series. So look for that mid October. Thanks so much friends. Uh, and I will see you very soon. Stay scrappy.